So welcome to the lab at Murphy and Son. I'm joined by Dr. Ruth. So, um, you guys have a lot of services that you offer here to brewers and distillers. Yes. Briefly take us through what you can do and how you do it. Okay, um, so some of our most popular tests are um, ABV. So we can offer that by um, distillation, which is the small sort of setup we have behind me. Um, and we also offer it by an alkalizer. Um, our ABV test is UCAS accredited, but for beers only. We are working on accreditation for spirits, okay. um, but it's quite a long process to tick all those boxes. Um, we also offer gluten analysis, yeah. um, as gluten-free beers are becoming a lot more popular over the last few years. Um, again, that test is UCAS accredited. Um, we also have a backup in case our equipment fails in that one of our lab techs has uh, celiac. Okay. So um, we can force feed him some beer and if he's poorly, he can't come into work. Yeah, yeah, very good. Um, we do a liquor analysis, which uh, tells you the ionic breakdown of your water and also which of our products to then add to make you different styles of beer. Okay. So we do recommendations for your main sort of three styles, which is lager, ales and stouts. Yeah. We can also do bespoke recommendations for our customers as well, um, but your standard report is just those three. Yeah. Um, we also offer um, ionic analysis of the beer, which looks for your calcium, magnesium, chloride and sulfate levels in your beer. Uh, we offer nutritional analysis, which tells you your calories um, that are present in your beer. And what else do we do? A heavy metal analysis. Um, so if you have any sort of quality issues that can sometimes be caused by copper or iron in your beer um, so we can test for those using our ICP instrument um, and we have a, an array of 21 different elements we can look for using our ICP machine. Yeah. Um, we also offer finings optimizations. Yeah. Um, so that can be things like Isinglass or Super F, which is our vegan um, alternative, and also copper finings. Yeah. Um, so what we do for that one is we dose the sample with a range of um, dosages, and then sort of tell the customer what is the best sort of That's most optimum one. range. Yes, yeah. so they don't overfine or they don't underfine. Um, and the finance um, trials are actually a free of charge service as well because right, yeah. it's part of our uh, sort of technical help that go along with value, uh, yeah. our products. If someone sent a sample into you, what way does it come in? Do you send them something to fill? Is it okay to use a sterile, you know, container at their end and send it to you? What's the preferred choice? Yeah, so um, we actually don't send the containers. We are happy to take containers of any kinds as long as they're leak proof because okay. um, we do get quite a lot of soggy uh, sample submission forms that come through the post. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've had samples sent to us in jam jars, old pop bottles, even baby bottles. Yeah. Um, so that's a bit weird when you get a beer arriving in a baby bottle. Yeah. Um, and then once the sample arrives, it gets booked into our sample log and our SAGE system. Um, the analysis is carried out and then the report is sent usually within five working days. Okay. Obviously, you understand these reports. For people like myself, maybe when they get the report, sometimes it's a bit overwhelming. Any tips yeah. for how to interpret it? Or do they just pick the phone up with Fran and Nick and say, here, do you interpret this for me? Um, yeah, a lot of the time I would recommend if you have sort of specific questions, the technical team like Fran and Nick will be um, very good for help. Um, for things like your ABV, um, all we can really provide you is your sort of ABV result. Yeah. Um, and I think the one we probably get questioned about the most is a gluten result. So we just provide you with the figure. Yeah. Um, but there are lots of resources online. So there's the uh, Celiac Society um, and also the Food Codex, um, both which tell you that a result of less than 20 ppm means your beer is gluten free. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you explain some of the machinery you have in here? Oh, yes. Yeah. But, um, so this is more of our low tech side of the lab. Um, it's what I would call the old school side. Um, so like I said, we've got the distillation set up. I've had some rums and gins bubbling away okay. um, this morning. And then if you would like to follow me to the more high tech side. Yeah. Cool, lead the way. 
Um, so this side, uh, we just have an array of differently sized expensive grey boxes. Yeah. Um, so this first one here is our alkalizer. So this is how um, we also do ABV as well. It's quicker for us and cheaper for the customer. So it's like a win-win okay, um, yeah. for everybody involved. Um, and then also behind me here, we have a HPLC instrument, which is mainly used for um, QC of our factory products but we are developing methods for um, iso-alpha acid testing and also sugar profile. What does HP stand for? Uh, high performance liquid chromatography. And this fancy piece of kit behind us is? Um, yeah, this yeah, huge piece of kit with the big exhaust um, is our ICP instrument. Um, so it's an inductively coupled plasma and we also use an emission spectroscopy detector because um, you can get different detectors for these instruments. Um, and this is what we use for our heavy metal analysis. So things like uh, arsenic, lead, mercury, yeah. and also things like copper and iron. Yeah. So they're uh, safety ones, such as your arsenic, and also your quality ones, such as your copper and your iron. Okay, very good, yeah. We have our um, Fairmaster machine. Yeah. Um, so this is one of my favorite bits of kit. Um, it's just, yeah, it's really cool. And all the reactions take place in like the tiniest of um, vials. And this is what we use to analyze all of the water samples that come in. So this is where we would get your calcium levels, magnesium, chloride and sulfate. Um, and then using that data, that's how we make our product recommendations. Yeah. So if someone sends a, a water analysis in or a liquor analysis, you, you provide a report uh, breaking down the ions, but also recommendations for what products they can use to achieve certain profiles for certain styles. Yes. Okay. And if they can't understand it, they need to ring Nick, and Nick will kindly help me explain because sometimes I I don't understand it either. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Our technical team are very good um, in terms of providing that kind of support. Yeah. How long does a test take? Just out of interest. Um, we say sort of up to five working days. Yeah. Um, but there can be issues. So we had an instrument breakdown last week, which obviously then led to a couple of delays in getting the reports out. The test itself probably takes about 20 minutes per sample. Okay. Um, but it's just the sheer volume of samples we get in and obviously all the other tests that yeah. we do. You also do micro analysis here as well in a yeah. separate lab, yeah? Yeah. Any other services that we want to make the guys aware of? Not that I can think of. Um, I think someone in micro will probably go over what all that means, yeah, because I am definitely not a microbiologist. Yeah. Um, we do have an R&D lab as well downstairs, so they're working on sort of new product development yeah. um, and things like that. But again, that's a, a beast all on its own. All on its own. Do you, um, have you ever done any brewing yourself? I've done a couple of sort of small scale home brews. Yeah. Um, so R&D have a homebrew set up downstairs, so when I started working at Murphy's I started in R&D. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we made a couple of, of beers, one sort of pale ale and another sort of like Christmassy themed yeah. Um, yeah, beer, which was called Fairly Inoffensive. Yeah, yeah. very good.